the bad and the ugly truth about power banks. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Topi Manalo. And uh, if you remember, recently we posted or we've uploaded a video about this baby here. My Bavin PC-077 power bank. It is rated at 40,000 milliampers and sad to say, it's a lie. <laughs> what? Yes, you heard me right. Um, it's not true. Hindi siya totoo. Um, I got the uh, information, the correct information by uh, by purchasing something like this. This is a small device but very powerful when it comes to providing information. So what it does basically is uh, it provides you the input and the output voltage, yung reading niya. Also, it gives you the uh, capacity of, let's say, your gadgets, your devices, or your power bank, um, charge kung gano kalaki in terms of milliampers, and how long it took for that particular device para mag fully charge. So, let's say um, how long a power bank, a 40,000 milliampere power bank takes to fully charge. No? So, paano ba ito ginagamit? Simpleng simple lang. All you need to do is to plug your USB power adapter to a 220 volts and then your USB doctor po connect siya to the other end ng ating USB adapter. So here. The moment you plug it in, makikita mo meron ng mga readings na lalabas dyan. Pero ang information na makikita mo pa lang would be yung output na ilalabas niya. Which is 5 volts. Yun naman talaga ang ilalabas niya. So paano natin malalaman yung mga ibang information? Simply lang, all we need to do is to plug in a device to sa kabilang end ng USB doctor. Right now, what we will use is my power bank. Also, I'm using a USB-A to USB-C cable. Then, uh, we will just insert it like this. Right there, you can see the other informations moving so here it says 1.89 amperes and uh, it shows yung time na nakaplug yung USB at uh, saka kung ilang milliampers ang ikinakaga niya dito sa power bank natin straightforward simple lang di ba Ang good thing about it is that right from the information given, malalaman nyo na kaagad yung mga pertinent uh, uh, details or info na gusto nating malaman. Like, a cable like this, ilang ba ang kayang ibigay niya? Kasi, the moment I unplug this cable, this USB-C cable, and use this for this power bank, nagbabago yung output niya. Lumalabas dito will be um, 1.5 amperes ang charging niya. So, by using a USB-C to charge my power bank, mas mabilis siya mag-charge kasi 1.5 9 or 2.0 versus 1.5 mas mabilis yung charging cycle niya. Ano ba yung mga pinagsasasabi ko? Simple lang naman. We will use the same USB charger. Gagamitan lang natin ng USB doctor. Yung power bank natin may tatlong iba't ibang input. 
Tapos, gagamit tayo ng tatlong iba't ibang cable. Lightning USB, micro USB, at saka USB-C. Lightning USB. Nakikita nyo, ang binibitawan niya is roughly about 1 ampere. Micro USB. Nakikita nyo na ang binibitawan niya is roughly 1.2 amperes. USB-C, 1.83 amperes. So, klaro po at malinaw. Ang pinakamataas nagbibigay ng amperes ay ang USB-C. Ang pinakamababa ay yung iOS cable natin. So, nalaman natin kung ano yung capacity or capability nitong USB doctor natin. One, it gives us the operating current. Second, it gives us the output voltage. Third, yung capacity measured in milliamperes. And lastly, yung oras or time it took for your device to fully charge. Also, it gives us information doon sa cable na ginagamit natin. Malalaman natin kung ano talaga yung full capacity or capability ng cable na gamit natin. I have to say, for its price, 120 pesos, this is a bang for the buck. Small device na talagang makakatulong sa inyo. Not only malalaman nyo kung ano yung mga charge, kung ano yung capacity, etc., etc., Malalaman nyo rin kung sira na ba talaga yung charger nyo, kung nagbibigay ba siya ng 5 volts, kung yung cable nyo e eh, may tama na, kailangan nyo ng palitan, and so on. Kasi lahat ng information nandito na. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, bili na kayo ng ganito kasi you'll never know kung kailan nyo siya gagamitin. Eh. Now going back to the other topic which is the ugly truth about power banks, eh, let's talk about this the above in 40,000 milliamperes PC 077 so after using it for roughly two weeks I was able to um, discharge the power bank and this is the result as you can see it took 17 hours to fully charge yung power bank natin but sadly and unfortunately it only charged at a maximum of 29,850 milliamperes. Meaning, the 40,000 milliamperes na, na pinapublicize nila is not real. Probably sasabihin nyo, paano naman may natira pang konting power kaya hanggang 29 or 30,000 milliamperes. Um, meron naman, may konti. Pero, come to think of it, hindi siya pwedeng matira na 10,000 milliamperes. Kasi, uh, as a matter of fact, nung ginamit ko siya, or nung nag-decide ako na mag-charge, it was already blinking. So, I don't know, kapag ka ba nag-blink siya, it's uh, informing you na meron pa siyang 10,000 milliamperes or more or less 25% na lang yung laman I don't think so a 10% buffer would be acceptable pero 10,000 masyadong malaki yun it's uh, it's uh, uh, 25% no uh, no published uh, capacity nila so for me it's unacceptable nagsisisi ba ako bumili ko nito not really kasi for 1,000 pesos, I got 30,000 milliamperes of power in a small package. I would say na okay pa rin. Uh, Nakaka-disappoint lang kasi uh, I, I trusted and I had high hopes na 40,000 naman talaga siya. But uh, hindi niya na reach yung capacity. Pero... 30,000 is still a good size for me. Hope you like the video. Sana may natutunan kayo. Hit the like button kung nagustuhan nyo yung video. 
na ako kung meron naman kayong tanong, comments, or suggestions dun sa comment section natin down below. Sulat nyo lang. And I will be more than glad to answer them for you. Also, if you are new to my channel, I would like to invite you. Please go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification for more updates. Again, maraming maraming salamat. My name is Topi Manalo. Until next time, kita kita kids. Bye bye. Ipa plug in natin. Makeup. You go, let me girl. Makeup. <laughs>